right guys so just like uh, date and time we have worked with separately and now we need to combine them both together and show date and time in a single field so let's jump in and get started here inside our lib folder create a file with the name of date underscore time underscore screen dot dot file right so let's create here a widget so uh, i'm here i'm going to create here a stateful widget and let's give it here the name of uh, date time screen all right so right after that let's import here the material dot dot file right so right inside the container i'm going to create here a scaffold widget and inside scaffold widget just very similar let's create here an app bar and inside the app bar i'm going to create here a title and let's give it the uh, title of tax widget and let's write here date time screen and let's make that into the center by just simply typing center title to be true inside the body container uh, I'm going to do here a very much identical trick that would be apply for date first so first I'm going to write the complete code for, uh, for date so as you as you know that we have to format that so I need to bring our formatter here so final uh, format and we have to define format for our date format so let's write here uh, the method for the date format so previously we defined only the date format or we define the time format but we there we have to combine them together so I need to define the complete format for here so first for the year next for the month and next for the days and I also need to define in here in hours so for now just just simply define hours and minutes and as as I explained that you can change the format according to your requirement so right inside the body container I again I just give some space from top right left bottom so I'm going to use here a padding widget and let's define here as in sets dot all and give the spaces of 16 0 right from all four sides so right after the padding I need to define here date time field so let's define child date time field and right inside here we have the format and on show uh, and the on show picker so for the on show picker first I have to define here context and the current value so context current value and I as, as I explained the async method right inside here I need to define my first date so let's go for the date final date equal to I need to define here show date picker first first we have to use date so as the requirements explain so we have the context and explain the initial date so initial date should be the date that I choose so it should be the current value and the current value of the date time dot now and for my first date I need to define here date time and let's define here the year inside here which is the for the first date let's define 1900 and for the last date I want to have here date time of 2100 so let's define the year and that's all we need alright so this is basically the date part and right after here I need to check that if that date exists means that if they, that date is not empty so I need to define here if that date is not equal to null then I need to see that my time so right inside here I have to define my time the so final time equal to await and let's define here show time picker and right inside here initial time should be the very much similar like we have to get the current hours and the current minutes so for that I have to use here time of day so time dot of day dot from day time and right inside here I need to define here current value of the date time dot now all right so as simple as that so right after this I need to do further changes so we have checked that out that if our time is not equal to null uh, which in this case right ends up here I need to return the date time field but here I need to combine both them together so you see here we have already defined our date and the time 
So yeah, it's showing an error because of the async. I need to define here a wait. Sorry about that. It should not be async. Wait. All right, because I already have an async method here. So let's check this out, but we need to first return the time, right? So we have combined our date time field. And on the other case, if that doesn't exist, so I just simply use the current value, all right? So as simple as that, right? So I hope this whole scenario is gonna work for us. So let me check this out. I just tried to first call this class right inside our main screen. I need to go to my main.dart and just simply paste up here and import that screen. And let me um, refresh this first, okay? So I refresh that, and now if I go back to my emulator, and you see it's showing now date time screen. Let me first add the add the date, which is 19 here. And right after that, okay, you see here now it's showing us time, which is in my in the previous case showing separately, but now we combine them together with the help of date time field and display the result inside our tax date time tax field, right? So you see how easier and how elegant it is. It's very much similar. Like if I want to add here AM PM, I just simply need to add a right after that. And if I just try to again choose the date and time again. So you see here now we're able to check the AM and PM and very much similar. If I just go again right after the form and we can also define the decoration if we want. And uh, for the decoration case if it's uh, input decoration and let me add here hint tax and let's choose uh, right here choose date and time all right so if i just try to reload this one and go back here close this one and you see now we have our label tax here choose okay whatever the time and and there we are so you guys could see how elegant it is so now we learn about everything about how we can separately define date how we can separately de separately define time and combine them together in a single screen and show results on our tax field how we can format the date and all the basic all the units that are required so this is the complete end of this. Probably this is the end of this complete series. So I hope you guys learned something out of it. If you have any queries, so please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. And that's it. And I want to see you in the very next coming good tutorials.